Hey, so did you want to do an intro? Uh, hello. Welcome to the Virtual Cabin. I'm Chuck Brengart, CEO of Ilphonic, and we are the developers behind Friday the 13th, the game, which you are currently playing now. Is there anything you want to say to the fans? Sure. I just want to say thanks for playing and supporting the game. Our fan base has been incredible. This project has exceeded even our wildest dreams, and that's because of all your continued and amazing support. So where are we? So this is the Virtual Cabin, 2.0 to be exact. The Virtual Cabin was a way for our backers to check out new art assets and discover a few hidden Easter eggs as we were building the game. It was a really engaging way to show a sneak peek at what we were developing. So, why bring it back? A ton of work went into researching the Friday the 13th films for the game, and we wanted to present a fun way to go behind the scenes and learn more about how the movies and the game were made. Consider this as an expanded virtual museum. A space where you can explore the lore of Friday the 13th and take it all in. Who knows, there might even be a few new Easter eggs to discover. If you go digging deep enough. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean for that to sound so ominous. Crystal Lake Police Department. Hello? Hello? Crystal Lake Police Department. Is anyone there? <sighs> Crystal Lake Police Department. No, it's probably just Ralph again. <laughs> Look, Ralph, you're holding up the line. Stop calling. Crystal Lake Police Department. Hello? Uh, hey, how'd you get in here? Hey, stop right there! Don't move. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sweet. Well, uh, now you know the virtual cabin goes a little deeper than we let on. There are quite a few puzzles, well, more like secrets left to discover. We hid some content in this cabin that will not be easy to unlock. You'll really have to think outside the box. So like a puzzle game? Think of this less like a puzzle game designed to get through in like an afternoon, and more like an experience for our community to get to know the movies better, or for the hardcore fans to test their knowledge. That uh, might be too much to say, but we can always cut that out later, right? Mm-hmm. And um, how will players know when they've uncovered all the secrets? Um, it should be pretty obvious. creepiest part about working on the game oh for sure the phone calls okay sorry um that was great can you start over but this time incorporate the question into your answer uh, my bad yeah so the creepiest part about working on this game was i get these weird phone calls to my personal phone we worked on the game for almost uh, i think it was about three years 
And every single Friday the 13th, we would get these calls from someone. At first, I thought it was someone at the studio, Paul or Dan or something, but it had to be like an F-13 fanboy or something. They would use this voice distortion and claim to be Pamela warning us to honor the memory of her son. Sometimes they would just laugh in the phone and hang up, but, but most of the times they would just, you know, complain about the game taking so long. That doesn't sound that creepy. It wasn't until one time I called the number back and heard this. Congratulations on completing the virtual cabin. In the future, we might update this space to reveal what's behind those two curtains. But for now, we just want to say thank you for playing and invite you to stay as long as you would like.
tell me about when you were making the game. Did you have any like weird glitches or strange bugs that you found? Late in development, we had this bug. We swore it was like the spirit of Jason coming into the game or something. But sometimes during a match, these invisible holes would generate. And if you manage to fall through one, you end up in this weird, untextured area of the map. It was not like an area we physically created, but um, like made of bits of our assets. Eventually, you'd be shot up high into the air and killed by Jason in the sky. Luckily, we were able to get it out before CERT, but it was a tough one. How were you able to find it? We had this debug code that would show us the holes in the map. That helped us hunt them down. What was the debug code? You know, it's the same code everyone uses when they need to input a secret code in a video game. I mean, just remember back when we were kids. It's probably better for legal that way. Come home to mommy, Jason. You know the way.
We spent a lot of time tuning the game to make sure it was fun to play as a counselor, and we knew we had it win. <laughs> Funny guy's hilarious. How long have you been waiting to play that for? Anyways, we finally... Oh, shit. <laughs> Kane, that's dope. You got me. Oh, careful, bro. Your knife is dripping on the... Oh, my God, he's battery 